What's up guys? It is Evan. And today we're looking at the Acer Chromebook. Now I recently bought this Chromebook when I was in the market for a laptop because the tablet wasn't doing enough for me. So some of you may wonder, why would you buy a Chromebook if you have a tablet? As you may be able to tell from the title of this video, it's because my main plan from the day of buying this Chromebook was to install Ubuntu on it and have a $200 laptop do everything a three four hundred dollar laptop could it has the specs of a low-end windows machine but the price of an xs7 so i didn't see where it could go wrong if it didn't end up working out great i could still use chrome os because i'd still be good or i could use ubuntu just with some i don't know maybe using it maybe it runs slower but here it is i'm gonna be reviewing it for you guys i've been using it for almost a week now um, and it's great running Ubuntu so it's booted up now it is in developer mode so if you want to skip the screen is gonna show up it says OS verification is off press space to re-enable where you press control D though to skip it or you can wait 30 seconds for it to boot up or you can just press control D and it'll boot up and as you can see it boots up fairly fast. I'm um, just going to have a little message there. I never even had time to read the whole thing. And here we are in Ubuntu. Now the mouse, actually I've had, I have had some problems with the mouse, but lately it has been great. You have to log in. The default password is user. And as you can see up here, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, it does say Kubuntu user. Because this is called Kubuntu. I'll have a link in the description on how to install it. I'm not going to make a video on how to install it, but I'll link you to a video on how to do it. It's a great video, it goes through all these steps. Um, he also has another video on how to create a recovery disk if something goes wrong. Also, link the actual website. So, the mouse works pretty good. You're going to have to press a little harder. I don't know if you can see moving around there. This screen does look kind of weird. Let's try to focus it in more. Alright, that looks better. Now you should be able to see it a little bit better. But, it works great. Sometimes the mouse, I've had, I have had problems with it, but lately it's been great. Maybe if I, maybe if I turn down the brightness a little bit, it'll be easier to see. Well, that looks a little bit better. Alright, so, yeah, you can have run all your applications, Google Chrome, um, I have Python installed. The main, the main reason I wanted this was I could have a laptop to do work on and a laptop where I can do some developing on. I can't do HTML or Python or Java on a tablet. There are some apps for Android, but I test them out they don't work well. Um, here, let's fire up Google Chrome. The um, operating system experience is actually great. I mean, well, it is, but also the web browsing, which Google Chrome is known for, works great. Here, let's look up The Verge. Always a good website. There's always a lot of pictures on it. Now, I have been having problems with my internet, but here, as you can see, it supports two-finger scrolling, and it works great. It's very smooth, just like if you're in the Chrome OS. Now, if you're in here, when you set it up, you can set up to leave space for Chrome OS. So you can switch back to Chrome OS once you install Ubuntu and set it as your default um, operating system. So yeah, as you can see, it works great. And the reason it's zoomed out, I'm not zoomed in all the way on the screen, is I want you to be able to see the Chromebook and know that I'm not doing any tricks. This isn't running on something else. I'm just saying it's running on an Acer C7 Chromebook, but you can actually see it right in front of you. So. I've been using it to do some work um, and do some developing and to me it's a great experience um, I'm gonna buy a bigger battery for it because right now it lasts right as you can see it takes 51 minutes off to charge it takes about an hour and a half to charge you get anywhere from two and a half to three hours of battery life in my experience your circumstances may be different depending on what you're doing do I recommend gaming or anything on this? No People have played Killing Floor and games like that on here. They haven't had any problems. You can play Minecraft on it if you want to. Play any game that works on Linux you most likely play on here. Is it going to be fun to play? I don't know. But check out some videos. Some of them aren't that bad. 
it doesn't look that bad. So here, let's load up YouTube. Okay, so as you can see, YouTube works. You know, everything works. You can even play video here. Let's go to uh, the, you know, kind of see if there's a, uh, well, I want to see if there's just the main, you know, well, here's YouTube. We'll just watch something. Um, let's watch, all right, let's go, let's watch a review of these earbuds. So, as you can see, there's, it does play on here. Here, we'll just watch the ad, but large player works. Full screen, it works great. Um, the ad does have these black bars around it. I, excuse me, not remembering the name. Here, let me make it brighter. I can see it. As you can see, yeah, it works. So, yeah, um, that works. So, that's the desktop. You can install apps from the Ubuntu Software Center. I have Python. You have the Python interpreter installed. As you can see, it does work. Um, you you can make Python programs here. Let's see, Skype does work. I'm not gonna fire that up as I want you to see all the uh, people I'm friends with. Skype works. Um, yeah, and you can here actually right here I have a text document I wrote for myself. It tells you how to switch the boot so you can switch. So you can switch back to Chrome. Let's zoom in on that. So you can switch those are the commands right there if you want to. You can switch to Chrome if you like. Um, there is nothing that's holding you back from doing that. It works. After you switch back, you can still do that. So that is great. All right. Um, yes, yeah, so that. You know, let's go into system settings and details. This works great. Ubuntu 12.04 LTS, memory 1.8 gigabytes of RAM. I am going to um, upgrade that, and I do recommend upgrading the RAM if you're going to be running Ubuntu. Intel Celeron CPU, um, 1.1 gigahertz, dual core. It is all the specs that are in the Chromebook. Um, graphics unknown, obviously. Um, oh. Unless you have the proper drivers installed, which I haven't done yet. I don't know. Well, the graphics have been working. The driver's unknown, but the graphics have been working fine for me. Haven't had to do anything. Um, disk space, 305 gigabytes. I left some space for Chrome OS, roughly 8 gigabytes. So, yeah, that's it. It works. Um, the experience on it is great. I ha have noticed, though, if you put it in sleep, the one one or two times I did it the mouse I had problems with the mouse but lately it's been great so yeah that's it I hope you guys enjoyed the video this is the Chrome OS oh what did I just turn off alright this is Chrome OS running on the Acer C7 Chromebook um yeah I love it it's great just as a small and thin laptop I can show you it right now just how thin it is, even in com even in comparison to the other Chromebooks, it's not the thinnest, but you know it works. And you have HDMI, you know, three USB ports. So that's it, guys. That's Ubuntu running the Acer C7 Chromebook, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below if you have anything that you want to say. Subscribe and check out my other videos. Alright guys, this was Evan and I'll see you later.